Today is a travel day. We're leaving Fez, where we spend the last three days, to Marrakesh, where we're going to spend the next three days. The exciting part of today is... We have a six and a half hour train journey and we did splurge and buy first class tickets. And by splurge, I mean they were like $45. So we've never caught a train in Morocco. This is going to be our first experience. I'm excited to see what it's like and hopefully first class is very comfortable because it's very long and Morocco is Should just be a 10 to 15 minute drive to the station from here. Yeah, we'll see. Close. And it's 70, 70 dirham. Yeah, but we got a um, like a private taxi or a fancy taxi. I don't really know what why it's fancy, but if you get the red taxis, apparently they're cheaper. But we just wanted to make sure we got the one. And that it was a bit easier, and not have to hassle. Blah, blah, blah. Yeah, all that. Early. So that was way quicker than I thought it was going to be, which is amazing. We have 40 minutes before our train departs, so enough time to get a snack, get maybe a fresh drink because it's bloody hot. Maybe top up our Dana because Max accidentally wasted it all on Netflix. So that, yeah, oh, I'll, I won't give you the story. Anyway, this train station looks ultra grand. Thankfully, we had our Airbnb helping us getting it, but you basically buy a SIM card, which is 10 dirham, and currently take a photo of your passport. Since we had it bought from someone else, we didn't have to. But then you basically buy, I assume you'll need it for the data like we did. It's 10 dirham per gig. So you do the math. Yeah, that's pretty much it. And all those shops like this kind of thing will sell it. And then they basically send your code to your phone. So you gotta know your number and then Bob Django. So let's get some gigs. Bonjour. Possible? Oui. Just besoin de 10 gigas, s'il vous plaît. Gigas, c'est bien. Oui. Vous avez besoin de mon numéro? Okay. Vous ne connaissez pas mon numéro? Non. Ah non, j'ai pris une photo. Pardon. Je vous, devais... ah, je vous laisse faire. Merci. Merci à vous. Moi, voilà. Emilia. Now, the also reason why we took a train for first class is because that gives us an assigned seat, which is a very reassuring thing in terms of getting to the train station whenever. Because we have stood for seven hours on a train in Sri Lanka. Go watch that video here. Yeah, that was not the most pleasant one. So, at least here we have a surety that we have a seat for the next six and a half hours. And I'm really looking forward to see what the landscape is like because it's not really desert where we're going through. I'm so interested to see what first class on a Moroccan train looks like. We have to Okay. Let's go. 
cozy. Very comfortable, relaxing seat. There's aircon. It fits my legs, but can't complain. It's pretty good. It's pretty big. It smells a little dusty. Yeah. I'm checking, so are you asleep? We haven't even left. loud while the train is moving so we are just stopped at a station right now and I'm going to give you a quick review of the bathroom it's not too bad to be honest it's not the best I think the train is about to start moving so I'm gonna be quick we have a sink which is not that clean but there is soap and water you have a full length mirror there is toilet paper which is a huge plus and the toilet now actually the toilet just goes straight down to the train tracks so not the most hygienic i think um but it doesn't smell and you know it could definitely be worse how's the experience going so far it's very loud and it's very hot the air conditioning We're like, how many? We're four hours into our journey. So we have about two and a half hours left. So not too much longer. We demolished this entire giant block of shelter. Yeah, sure. Oh, can I have a banana? Mm -hmm. Okay, so we, what do we go and explore the train? We are like the second carriage. We are the second last carriage, so I think that the carriage behind us is also first class, so exactly the same as what you're seeing right now. But we'll take you on a little tour so you can see what you would get on a Moroccan train. So there's two class one and two, there's nothing below that. This is class one. When, whereas in Sri Lanka, it was free. And uh, we found out the hard way what class three was. which it looks pretty much the same except there's a lot more people compacted into the compartment so whereas ours is three seats and three seats these ones are four seats and four seats so just a little bit less comfortable all right so we can't wait down oh, okay so we found another section which is like a normal train now Three class, maybe. So what we just walked through was still also second class and actually it looked way more comfortable than even first class because there's just two and like seats of four which is really nice except that there didn't seem to be any windows that opened in there and there was definitely not any air conditioning and that compartment was extremely fun so even though the seating arrangements were probably a bit more comfortable Probably a lot more comfortable in the other I don't think there is a cafeteria car. We saw in our trains cafeteria and some of them. Maybe we wouldn't get that. So we'll go back that way and we'll wait for the coffee guy. Hopefully, like they say, inshallah, he comes by a good <laughs> We 
here. Oh, so much fun. Good timing. It's been a long train journey. It's been alright though. It's been hot, but no. not too bad. We have a 15 minute ride to our hotel. Now I'm dreading a little bit about this whole taxi thing because you know I don't want to have to have a conflict with a taxi driver but they say just make sure the meter is on that's all that's the most important thing so get the meter on 15 minute drive shouldn't be too expensive and then we're home for the next three nights very comfortable very happy with the whole entire ride but nothing feels better than getting off that stuffy train and breathing some fresh air it's so much cooler outside now because it's evening as you can see from that gorgeous sky behind me and now we're just going to grab a taxi head to the hotel go find some dinner it's so fancy in here. Oh, and they have Starbucks. So we're just trying to get a taxi and we've had a few people ask us. Max keeps asking if they're metered and they don't respond. They just say, where are you going? <laughs> and it's starting to uh, build up some frustration for Max. So we're just looking up now what the guide is, you know, which ones we should be getting and that kind of thing. I uh, found whatever I could find. I don't know, I'm maybe overpricing, I don't know. I've been waiting here too long. I'm hungry, I'm tired. Ugh. Stay positive, people. Enjoy traveling. It's part of the experience. Where are we going? Uh, that's mini thing. Oh, we're following a gentleman into a strange car park. Yeah, first night in Marrakesh. <laughs> Holding a camera. Great. Well done. Well done. Safety check. This, this car? Yeah. Go through the traffic. This is our taxi? Oh my god. We're in a white van with curtains that is not a taxi. But Max agreed to let take us to our hotel. So, uh, See if we actually get there. So our taxi driver, our driver pulled over about one and a half kilometers from our accommodation and we can't communicate with him. He doesn't speak French or English. And so Max is now, as you can hear, having an argument, <laughs> trying to get him to actually take us to where he's supposed to take us. And there's another man translating. I don't really know what's going on. Pardon? Uh, Alright, <laughs> so to I guess any Arabic speaking person that watched this video you might understand a bit better but it was just a misunderstanding with uh, the fact that Google doesn't realize that this is a you know like an old city so you can't really have a car here you have those scooters here and the guy didn't understand he was very confused and yeah so the only thing is that the guy didn't drop us anywhere near where we live so we just had to we just had to argue our way to the right place argue as in like debate brainstorm but yeah we're just 200 meters away and okay God, drama after drama, and poor Max had to deal with everything because I don't speak French. Yeah, I mean, it's just a misunderstanding. I mean, I'm trying to be very positive here and give everyone the benefit of the doubt. Anyway, it all worked out in the end, that's all that matters. What happened was when we were looking for our hotel, we couldn't, the Google Maps was wrong, so then we got help from a local, but of course, then they asked for money and then we get into our room and it's not the room that we booked and it's just like one thing after another tonight yeah 
So it is not very late, but it's late considering we're waking up very early. So we're just gonna grab a bite and we'll leave you here. Tomorrow is a new day. We'll explore Marrakesh. We're very excited for it. It is we're very tired. <laughs> Bye. Bye. We're going from Fez, where we spent the last three days, to train, where we're gonna spend the next three days. Where? I mean, from Fez, what did I say? From Fez to Fez? You said from Fez to train. From Fez? Oh, hold on, let's go. Where we're gonna spend the next three days on the train. Dude. Seconds, are you asleep? We haven't even left. Mm -hmm.